Let's talk about some legacy charts. Two big highlights today, this week, something that I've been talking about following for months. Those of you who may or may not have watched previous videos, we're looking at the volatility index, the VIX. Historically, spikes in the VIX have been drops in crypto and buying opportunities, as was the case in March. Furthermore, any decline in the VIX should be bullish for crypto. So we're seeing a decline in the VIX today below 20 for the first time since February. Should the VIX continue to decay, decline, this will have massively bullish implications for crypto. It's harder to see it and feel it because it happens slowly over time. But if the VIX can stay below 20, go back to 10, go back to 5, those are all bullish market conditions just as we saw throughout 2017, 2016 for crypto. Something else worthy of note is Dixie. I'll show those charts in a second. DXY, the dollar index, US dollar index, continuing to just get pummeled to its destined target below $88, 88 uh, whatever the index reference point is, 88. <laughs> um, the correlation, the 30-week correlation between the Dixie and BTC still is strongly inverse, around 65%. I have the 30-week gold correlation here in the blue. A strong correlation, but declining over the past few weeks, which is good because gold looks like on trend that it's ready for some pullback, some continued retracement. We'll show that in a second as well. Now if we compare BTC to SPX and NASDAQ correlations, this is the 30-day rolling. You can see we were just kind of stuck at super high correlations earlier in the year. Now it's kind of off and on back and forth. As crypto people, that's what you want to see. You don't want to be tied to any one market. You want to be playing your own game, moving to the beat of your own drum. Correlation is still relatively high, but it's not surging at 100% for an extended period of time, not surging at 50%. Doing our, doing our own thing here. Here's the DXY, and in a vacuum, this chart looks extremely bearish. This is the daily cloud, so it had its down move reconsolidated two three four five cloud breakout attempts into the cloud didn't happen bearish tk recross below the cloud the single most bearish indicator in the cloud system this should lead to bearish continuation which has massive implications for a lot of stuff but specifically crypto should do very well in this environment declining di vixi vixi declining vix declining dixi very bullish for btc so the target for Dixie is around 88, 89, based on previous local low, based on yearly pivots. Now, if if it goes mega bearish, if it goes below 88, then we're talking easily all-time highs, new all-time highs for uh, BTC, undoubtedly. Which may be the destined move, because if we get a U.S. stimulus here with uh, Biden in office in 2021, dollar likely takes a hit, stocks likely continue to moon. And crypto likely continues to move. The conversation, the macro conversation about alternative stores of value other than the dollar will continue. And the cycle just keeps on going. You know, all-time high or not, price kind of irrelevant for Bitcoin. You know, if you're a billionaire, <laughs> millionaire, price is kind of, kind of irrelevant. Obviously, you want to buy low, sell high. But if you are looking for a store of value that isn't dollar, US dollar, you're just looking for anything, any alternative assets. Stocks, bonds, real estate, art, crypto, anything. And here's that zoomed out version of the DXY chart again. Just It looks like it's destined for doom to the ADA target. It, you could argue some sort of falling wedge here eventually, but I think uh, with continued stimulus talks, you know, maybe we'll get some sort of war drums beating. There was an Iranian scientist that was assassinated today, apparently. So all sorts of all sorts of interesting things that could happen within the next few months that could affect Dixie, certainly. Looking at SPX, hit a new all-time high. Kind of looks like ETH did pre-breakout, where it had this massive bull trend, reconsolidated, made a W, and went for new highs. There is a bearish divergence here, even though it's still bullish on trend. So I don't know how much more gas is in this tank in the near term, but definitely bullish. No denying. I mean, obviously, all-time highs. The question is just how much more, you know? I think it's going to take a stimulus. It's going to take more vaccine news. 
just juice this market substantially more. Interestingly, NASDAQ is also on the rise, very similar chart structure, similar to ETH, similar to SPX. Hasn't hit its all-time high again yet, but it looks like it's well on its way into the last month of Q4. So collectively, stocks, if stocks are bullish, crypto's been bullish. That's just how it's been. More of a macro headwind than anything. If the dollar is suffering, if we're talking about stimulus, if we're talking about printing more money, this is all bullish for stocks, crypto. Here's the gold chart, very clearly a different beast. You know, you compare this all-time high the SPX chart to the gold chart, and you've had a series of consolidations here, both breaking to the downside, and a fairly strong move here on the daily chart with the cloud also flipping bearish, really for the first time since June, and before that, 2019. So... This was due for some retracement, certainly. And it looks like uh, the bearish moves are in the cards over the bullish moves here with price below the cloud. Interesting, if we if we do see a stimulus, this should pop up because gold is obviously store value conversation uh, forefront for most people who are in the investment world. Silver, same story as gold. Series of consolidations here, all of which have broken down, both of which have broken down. You know, 15, 16, 17 was possible. Just this previous uh, consolidation point around 18, whatever this is here. I don't expect it to go lower than that if it reaches that point. Um, not as bearish as gold, though, as far as how it looks on trend yet. But it will probably follow gold there and continue the decline. There is a bit of a bullish divergence here. You're getting lower lows in price on higher RSI. So if this can hold within the cloud, it has a chance to reconsolidate bullish. But... If it follows gold, you know, you're seeing all the different var varieties and variations of the cloud here. Very interesting how you can quickly discern, you know, the differences between, okay, this is bearish, you're getting bearish, TK recrosses below the cloud. This is bullish, you're getting bullish, TK recrosses above the cloud. This is bearish, you're getting a bearish coma breakout. And this is all the, the varieties of, of trend trading with the cloud. And uh, I thought it was interesting also the Nikkei made a casual 30-year high over the past week. It as well looks like it's on its way to an all-time high retest. Um, so if stocks globally are bullish, if printing money continues and negative interest rates continues, all this is stuff Bitcoiners have been talking about for years relative to legacy stuff. So it's not like it's out of the blue here. <laughs> it's just kind of inevitability. If you continue to devalue fiat currency, that's just the way it works. Uh, and then lastly, even gold or oil is looking bullish here on the weekly. And like I mentioned with the Iranian war drums beating or Israel, Iran, uh, you know, all sorts of headlines are coming out over the past week. But any of that stuff may cause some interesting spikes in oil. Remember when oil hit zero in the futures market? Who knew that that could ever happen? So overall, Legacy looks poised to continue the crypto rocket ship further, really kind of as expected. The two most important things are the Dixie, which continues to decline as we print more and more money, and the VIX, which also continues to decline as some vaccine stuff is coming. And it's hard to be bullish from my own personal biotech background. It's hard to be bullish on vaccine news without seeing it in action and actually being distributed because there's there's some steps we have to take there. How much can we produce? How quickly can we produce it? who gets it first, how can we distribute it, how easy is it to get to people who need it, that sort of thing. How many doses do you need? How many people get a vaccine response? There's all uh, immune response. There's all sorts of issues yet to come. And we're also seeing continued headlines about people in the U.S. specifically unable to pay rent, unable to put food on the table, 55%, uh, 65% in some places. So that will need to be dealt with as a country, really, and I think that's where the stimulus comes in. So overall, the macro picture looks extremely bullish for crypto.